Hey, it's Jeff, welcome back to another video. I recently made a jade plant watering video and in the comment section there was a few of you that had asked about leaf drops, so I thought I would make a separate video explaining why your plant might be dropping some of its leaves. So the first thing is incorrect watering and that can be either overwatering or underwatering. I know it can be a little bit difficult to know when to water a succulent, uh, specifically a jade plant. So if you want to go check out how to water a jade plant, I'll leave that video up in the top corner there. You can go check it out. But I'm just going to touch on some of the main points of how to know when to water a jade. The frequency of watering is different between the summer and winter months. Um, I keep mine mainly indoors. Uh, for this one right here, I'll probably water it once every two weeks in the summer and maybe once a month in the winter. The reason why you cut back on the frequency of watering in the winter is the days are shorter and the sun is lower in the sky, so it's not providing as much sunlight. So the plant is not using uh, that sunlight to produce uh, new growth like it would in the springtime. So you have to think of it as three ingredients, uh, sunlight, nutrients, and water water so if it's not receiving as much sunlight it's not going to need as much nutrients and it's not going to need as much water so that's why you cut back on watering in the winter otherwise that can lead to root rot and obviously uh, leaf drop. This can be applied to both the summer and winter but obviously you want to make sure that the soil is bone dry. Uh, right now you can see it's pretty dry. I watered this a few days ago, but the little tip or trick that I use to determine whether it needs water or not is actually by the leaves. You should not be able to fold or bend a jade leaf. They're usually very thick, they're very plump, they store a lot of water in there. So you can see they're pretty rigid. If you're able to, I guess, bend it or fold it uh, very easily without obviously squishing it, then um, it probably needs some water. Otherwise, right now you can see it's um, not easily bendable. So this plant does not need water. Here is, whoops, here is my Gollum Jade. Um, a little bit different leaves, they're more cylindrical, but uh, the same concept with these ones. You can see, I can bend this very easily. So this one, and obviously the soil's dry. This one will definitely need some water. So you can see it's easily bendable, whoops. Just broke that one in half. Yeah, I'm just going to twist that off. But yeah, if you are able to bend it or if you see wrinkles on the leaves and the soil is dry, then it will definitely need to be watered. The next reason why your plant might be dropping leaves is due to poor drainage. You always want to make sure that you have a well-draining soil, something that the water drains through really quick and it doesn't stay wet for too long. I always use a cactus and succulent mix. There is a lot of sand, kind of like grittier material in there, as well as uh, some perlite. So just a regular potting soil will probably retain too much moisture in the soil and that can lead to root rot and obviously leaf drop. The type of pot that you use can also determine how fast your soil dries out. I always recommend using a clay or terracotta pot. It is very porous and it is good at absorbing soil moisture lower in the pot and evaporating it out. The problem with a plastic pot is it doesn't um, have that uh, porous type material and it doesn't evaporate out. So it basically has to rely on what the plant uses uh, through the roots, obviously soaking up. So it may stay a little bit more wet um, if you use a plastic pot compared to a terracotta pot. Also make sure if you are using either type of pot that it has uh, enough drain holes on the bottom so that when you do water it all the water or excess water will come out the bottom of the drain hole. Using the appropriate size pot can also help with uh, root rot and leaf drop. If a pot is too large it has way too much soil and that soil typically stays wet for longer than it should and that can lead to uh, root rot. So for the most part, I think jades like to be a little bit more snug in smaller pots. Um, they have shallow root systems, so they, uh, they don't mind being uh, a little bit more root bound. These plants are really well known for small pots, like in bonsais and that sort of thing. So a smaller pot is not gonna harm this plant or anything like that. But if you have something that's uh, too large, that's probably going to um, cause some root rot issues. I'm just gonna show quickly here what a fast draining soil looks like. So I'm just gonna give it some water as this one needs water anyways and it should drain through fairly quick. You can see some bubbling there, that means the soil is pretty dry. But you can see how quickly that uh, water just uh, drains right through. And I think it's even coming out the bottom already. 
So tip number three for leaf drop is lack of sunlight. I have most of my jade plants sitting in my south facing window for the entire year. But if you have yours in a location where it gets uh, some pretty good sun through the summer months, but in the fall and winter, it's not getting enough sunlight. That's probably why it's dropping some leaves as they still do require a lot of sunlight. Like I said, the sun is a little bit uh, lower in the sky and the days are a little bit shorter. So it might not be getting enough sunlight. So if you've covered everything else so far, just move it to a little bit of a brighter location and see if that helps with leaf drop. If you don't have the option to move your plant around, you can add a grow light or a grow bulb. I have my larger J plant right now downstairs. I do have it under these uh, three bulb gooseneck um, grow lights. And so far it's doing really good. And it's actually getting some new growth. So that's another option is just placing a, a grow bulb or grow light near it. And that should provide some extra sunlight um, through the uh, winter and or the fall and winter months until it uh, gets the uh, strong summer sun again. Extreme temperature fluctuations can cause leaf drop as well. So the optimal temperature for these plants are between kind of the 60 to 75 Fahrenheit or the 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. And for most houses, I think that's just regular uh, house temperatures. But uh, here in Canada where I am, it gets pretty cold in the winter. So if you keep these outside and you bring them in, just make sure that they are in those ranges. Um, I know typically if our night temperatures get around that uh, 10 degrees Celsius, that's when you should start bringing your plants indoors. So if it goes anything lower than that, that could potentially cause leaf drop. Also, if you have really high temperatures in the summer, like this summer we had some pretty extreme um, heat waves. Um, so that can also cause uh, leaf drop if you're not providing enough water. So it can go both ways. If you have too cold of temperatures, it can cause uh, le uh, leaf drop. Also, if you have it in extreme heat, that can also cause leaf drop. These plants also cannot tolerate frost. So if it uh, freezes, it's definitely going to die and you're gonna lose your plant. So just keep an eye on those uh, temperature ranges more specifically the cooler temperatures. Another reason is just the natural process of the plants. Uh, as the plant ages, uh, it will often drop the older or lower leaves. So if you see like the occasional yellow leaf and it just falls off, it's not really that too concerning. Um, as it's pushing out new growth, it'll drop some lower leaves. But if you start to see like clusters of yellow leaves, then it's probably an issue that you should uh, further investigate and it can be caused by bugs as well. I haven't really had too many issues or really any issues with this plant, but um, I know jades in particular, they're pretty susceptible to mealybugs. So if you see kind of white little fluffy stuff in the stems and under leaves and that sort of thing, then definitely treat it for pests. But yeah, that's basically it. If, uh, if as the plant grows, it will occasionally shed a few leaves. You can see a few have fallen off there as well. So it's not really concerning if it's just the occasional leaf, just the natural process of the plant. If you find bugs or pests on it, then treat it immediately. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this uh, jade leaf issue video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. If you have any other uh, tips or information that you wanna add, uh, just leave it down in the comment section as well. Thanks again for watching all my videos, everyone. Take care. Bye.